Hello, my name is John Marco D'Amelia. And my name is Robert Murphy, and we'll be showing you how to design Patrick Starr in the Imagine a Shape Design Workbench. First, we have the translation tool, which will move the object around in space. Next is the local normal tool, which will transform the object based on what points you have selected. If you have the whole body selected, it will make it larger. Or if you have the top plane selected, it will make the top plane move up. Next is the rotate tool, which rotates each plane selected. Or if you have all of the points selected, it will rotate the entire body. Next is the transform tool, which will allow you to transform the object based on what face you have selected. The first step we took was design the body for Patrick. We used the cut face tool, as shown, to move the, uh, extend the body up to transform and deform the shape, as you can see. With some minor adjustments, we can also change the bottom of the shape to simulate his belly. We select all four points to de uh, deform the shape a little bit more around the middle. The next part we did was to make the top of his head, usually the hair. And as you can see, we are adjusting each point to make it perfect. And we do this by using the transfer tool, or translate tool, sorry. The next step we've done is to choose the coloring for the body. We selected the bottom part and right clicked on it and chose the color green. Next, we want to also color the top part. We select all different panels and like so and repeat the same step as previous. Right click, preferences, and the color pink. Now we're going to be making the bottom of his pant leg. To do this, I inserted a cylinder and used the transform tool to shrink it down to fit accordingly. Next, I'm going to use the rotate tool to rotate the cylinder down, and then the translation tool to move it down. Then I cut cut the cylinder into pieces so I can bow the legs out. Next, I'm going to be making his legs. To do this, I inserted a cylinder in the same fashion as the pant legs and moved it down to the bottom of the pant leg. I'm using the local normal tool to select the points and transform the sphere to make it look more like an ellipsoid. I select the plane on the bottom and I'm going to elongate it. Now I'm just going to resize it to make it look more fitting. We then repeat these steps for the second leg as we copy and paste. 
and translate it over. As we previously did before with the, uh, the body, we will also change the color of the pants and the legs. Next, we included another sphere to create the arm. We cut the face and translated out uh, the same as we did with Patrick's head. Now we're using the transform tool to resize his arm so it looks like it fits him. After resize it, resizing it and copying it, we translate the arm and turn it around to fit the other arm. And then we change the colors accordingly. The next step we took was making the eyes. We inserted a, another sphere and then used a transform tool to simulate an ellipsoid. Then I used the copy tool and just copy and pasted it on the other side to make another eye. and then I turn them white. Next is, are the eyeballs, which I also inserted a, another sphere and shrunk them down and turned them into black. To draw the mouth, I inserted a circle and shrunk it down to make an ellipse. Then I extracted the back out and formed a bowl type shape and then use the cut tool or the split tool rather to make it so you can see inside of his mouth. Next I'm making the tongue which I use another sphere and just shrunk it down and then I cut it so I can so I can curve it up. Next is his buck tooth. To do this, I inserted another sphere and then made it look more square. And then I used the affinity tool to make the bottom have more of a robust shape. And like before, we changed the color of the tooth, the tongue, and the mouth. And now we have Patrick Starr. Thanks for listening. My name is Bobby Murphy. And my name is John Mark Vermilia. Have a good one.